<laughs> well, we can't smell it. Don't worry. All right, here we okay. are. Yay. We're going to call this video the last of the truthers that have survived on YouTube. <laughs> so I am Anne-Marie Eber, and this is Truth Meter. Welcome. Um, thank you so much for coming on. We have Kim the Bard. Hi, yeah. And re remind me if, you know, or, or say your channels if you want to say them. We have Devil's Playground, Nigel, Devil's Playground 2, yep. and Harry Christie from Devil's Playground joining us i'm excited and they've got of course always something new and interesting to talk about kim is a psychic and um so i'm hoping she can give some good input here and uh, i'm just the moderator to make sure they all behave um oh that chance oh <laughs> we don't we don't want to behave well someone's got to so, put a stop sign in front of my <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay nigel you're gonna be a time limit <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Right. So, um, and then we'll just take turns whatever uh, we can start wherever if anybody wants to say anything about themselves or about your channel or whatever please do so and we'll just jump in here well I'll, I'll, I'll let Harry do the um, do the honors <laughs> uh, well, on look, our channel uh, Nigel and I we, we met online you know, not like the dating scene line but <laughs> But we were both kind of moderating on another channel, and uh, that uh, the person who, whose channel we were on ended up not really agreeing with just one thing that we were talking about, and eventually he he kicked us off the channel. So we I looked at Nigel and I said, hey, "Nigel, you have a lot of good ideas. I have a lot of good ideas. Let's just do a channel together." <laughs> so yeah, we one, broke away. One stupid did, thing. Yeah. One thing we agreed on almost every other thing. And just that one topic, and, and the topic was um, the U.S. is a corporation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you think it is? I got, yeah. You think it is, okay. yeah. you think it isn't? No, we know it is. Saying, yeah, yeah, you know it is. Okay. Yeah. We, we know it is. We all have to agree. So on yeah. this video, everybody's got to agree 100%. It must be perfect. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, sure. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Uh -huh. We um, we did, we, we actually I mean, not just us, many people have done it. The, the US is a corporation. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, all countries are corporations. Every, yeah. every. Yeah. 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 You, have, that. you have America, which is a country. You have the US. Okay, wait. Don't say too much about this, though. <laughs> okay. Just dance around it. It's, but, you, you know, many, many countries have two names, right? I mean, I'm in China. So you have China, which is the country, and you have the People's Republic of China, which is a corporation. Uh, it's the same with every uh, every country in the world, essentially. We're all well, yeah. Um, they took over all the uh, countries, all the governments. So now they're trying to take over us, which we are not yeah. going to allow. Yeah. Well, if you look up the word "of" in Black's Law's dictionary, "of" means without. What does? Of O L O F. O L O F. Of. Of oh, so oh. it means without. So if you say the United States, America, without. yeah. So you're just saying it's actually, America. actually, if you took because V and F can be interchanged, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you take the word gov, G O V, it would be without God. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. That would that would work. That would work. But um, but yeah, that's uh, he he disagreed with us and he kicked us both off um off his channel. You you know who he is. You did a show with him, the Bible guy. I did. Yeah, you. That's where we found oh, you. <laughs> he didn't agree with that. Maybe he, I, I find that hard to believe. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And an, and another thing that he fell out with me over is he was going on about the the, the Uyghurs in China, and I'm like, mate, don't believe everything you've been. Um, you've heard everything you've read you know i did a okay. um, I, I did a i did a show i'm i'm, I'm gonna put this in because it's two years ago now i did a show with um jamie lee um on a plain truth a couple of years ago and um i asked him oh two or three days later i said when are you gonna when are you gonna upload this this podcast i got a one word reply in his email manana Spelled like banana, but with an M instead of a B. I've never heard of it. Manana. I looked it up, and it kind of means this time, sometime, never, right? And and I thought that's odd. 
we spent a good hour on this this podcast and then it dawned on me he did he'd previously done a podcast on china right and the um the suicide nets outside the um the the, the, the apartment windows in these factories and uh, and all this nonsense and how these people are paid a pittance you know to sit and screw lids on toothpaste t- toothpaste tubes all day and um and I, I, I kind of threw out the other argument when I was doing the podcast with him. I actually went to the, um, uh, the factory in Shenzhen that make all the, the computers. Um, I forget the name of it now. It's a few years back in 2014, I think. And um, they have a school inside the factory. Now, I teach English in China, right? And I was, they, they wanted, wanted me to go and look at this, uh, this school and see if I wanted to work there. So they have a school inside. The factory is like a small town, huge, right? And all the workers live in apartment blocks inside the factory um, grounds. They get three meals a day, every day of the week, seven days a week. They get their heating. They get their lighting. They get their Wi-Fi. They get everything supplied, everything provided. The only thing the factory does not provide them with is cigarettes and, and beer right so and, and and jamie was talking about the 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 insanely low wage that these guys get well you know you 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 have a whole family mom and dad working in the factory and the kids in the school all free all paid for why do you need a big salary why would you need more than um a couple because- of thousand you are. No, because there's more to life than just being not, on the treadmill. Not to their life, there isn't. Most of these. Yeah, these well, exactly. Are, yeah, most I mean, of these have you, people. Have, are, have you ever? Have you ever tried to do that? Have you ever tried to just do, you know, get fed three? You're, you're not even making your own decision about what you're eating because you're getting. <clears> no, it's not no, getting no, you're, no, you're not. No, you're not. Like, but, so but, you're not but, making. But, you've got none of you in your life. No, no. Right. But but the, the point the point I'm making is that. Jamie was saying that this is like slave labor, um, mm-hmm. that they have suicide nets outside the windows and so on and so forth, which is all bollocks. It's all it, it, it's all rubbish. These people do what they do because they want to do it. They work six days a week. They have one day off and they probably go and do a bit of shopping. Um, and the rest of the money that they, that they have, they send back to their family in the little tiny village that they uh, that they grew up in. Right. That's 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 all they do. And when they retire, they go back to the village and they, they live in the, the house that they, they grew up in. And whatever money they've got in the bank is what they've got in the bank. Um, and, and I don't think that, um, that he liked the idea that, you know, someone who's never been to China um, putting out one um, uh, set of information compared to someone that's lived here for seven years and kind of um, knows that what what he was saying was not um, not necessarily true. So um, I think that's why he he didn't uh, he never uploaded the the podcast we did. Well, you know, Nigel, oh, the thing that, the thing that you're talking about is kind of like what everyone, at least that I know of, does anyway. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like a Groundhog Day, right? You wake up every morning, the same day. What do we do? We wake up every morning. We go to work. We get off work, we come home, we make a meal, we go to bed, we wake up the next day. How different is that than what you're talking about? No difference at all. Not, I, not mean, I mean, Kim's, Kim's, Kim's right, but, but I think um, Kim is, um, you're retired, aren't you, Kim? Yeah. 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 I can't um, stand that Groundhog Day so, stuff, but no. yeah, we're all kind of It's really funny. That. I hate that movie, but but um, I can remember Nadge. I can okay, remember Nadge let's hang saying on. that he watched it again. One sec. He, let's he hang he on here because uh, I know, uh, like Nigel and Harry, we can I can listen all day to both of you. But Kim, I want to give you a chance to maybe talk about your channel or what you do real quick, or if there's any topics you want to bring up. And then Nigel, if you want to keep going with what you're talking about, or Harry. Or if you want to get into the M word that we were talking about, we can get into that. I don't okay. know if I, I'm just saying M in case we're not going to talk about it, but 
Um, Kim, if well, you'll just say a few words, uh, okay. whatever you'd like to say. Okay, I've had my channel running for about a year now. Um, my predominant thing is really um, very much believe in the Aztec and the Mayan stuff. I did quite a lot of research on that a lot of years ago. And I'm very much into the return of the sixth sun and the fact, the idea that this, this is the end of the fifth sun that we're living through now and what that actually means. And also um, into what we can do to be the best that we can be. So like, uh, it's all about kind of being self-responsible and how to do that in this world without Very hurting cool. other people. So um, yeah, I'd love for you to talk about some of that if you want to, and as we go okay. along here. But... Well, just in the last couple of days, um, I, I had quite a lot of stuff to do with another guy on another channel um, called Six Sun News. And this guy's name's Matt. And he was talking about that alignment that occurred a couple of days ago um, with all of the planets. And he was talking about the song, uh, this is the age of Aquarius and the fact that this um, particular alignment, did you see it? Did you, did you see all the planets lining up like on the 24th? I think it was. Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Some, some guy on, cause I live on an Island, some guy on the Island here went out early in the morning, took the photographs of the sky and you can actually clearly see the planets all lined up, you know, just with a, not just with a standard not, not, camera. Not here. You can't with our white sky. No. So he was talking about it being significant from the point of view of the dawning of the age of Aquarius because of another planetary alignment that's occurring on the 26th of June, which is even more planets. And he was talking about this period between now and then being um, uh, potential, this potential for really big solar flares and that type of thing. I was quite interested in that. I'm quite interested in the idea that, um, because that would indicate as well that the fifth sun's kind of doing its last breath things, you know, like sun farts, basically. Mm -hmm. Kim, what do you think about this notion of if the planets all align a certain way, that maybe that could be the key uh, individually for us to, to actually escape this, uh, this realm? Absolutely. I, I mean, I could completely, because I don't think that the planets are planets anyway. I think they're liminaries. Oh, yeah. And I think, I think they emit sound. And I think it's the emission or the output of sound that actually, We're affects, the our uh, that <laughs> yeah. actually affects our consciousness, right? So depending on the influences that we're receiving in relation to tonal influences, and then when all those tones line up, yeah, why not? It opens right. a portal or something and gives us the opportunity to escape this realm. Yeah, that we did a podcast. I hope. I hope it's not an opening into 5D. We well, we did a podcast and we and I presented that whole concept of if the if the luminaries line up a certain way, and we are the key, the teeth in the key, and they're lined up right, then we can open that lock and turn the drum of that lock and unlock it. Yep. Yep. We we did a we did a podcast on it. It's called It's Time. Now, okay. Can I can I throw something in here while um while I'm looking at Anne Marie playing around with the cards? Yeah, you're. you're well, quite, I think you're I'm looking at that, that what you're talking about. Uh, I think um I think it very well could be. I think those of us that are awake can get out anyway. But it, it can be a time for people to escape. Maybe once they die. And so then their soul knows to leave, but they may not consciously know to leave or something, but right. Well, there's, so there's maybe a it's an opportunity things. for other people that aren't waking up to get out. There's, there's a couple of things that people need to know about the significance of, um, of 2022. If you multiply two times two times two times 222, you get 1776. Uh, 1776 is a very important year for you guys in America. Declaration of Independence, the forming of the, 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 the country, the Illuminati was born um, or created in 1776. Last year, um, Prince um, Philip died. 
uh, age 99 on the 99th day of the year. Now, what people don't understand or don't realize is that from when he was born in 1921 to when the Queen was born in 1926, there was 1,176 days, 1776 again. From the date that the demic was announced on the 3rd of March 2020 to January the 20th, 2025, which would be the inauguration date of the next US president, is 1776 days. Just saying. It's all coincidence. Oh, of course, of course. There's no computer <laughs> program running and, and mapping this yeah. out for us. Yeah. Now, the other thing that, um, and this is something that you might, we, 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 we would love you to read on with your, with your cards. Um, many, of right. us in this, many of us in this community know that um, in 1582, 1,000 years was added to the, Julian, uh, to the Gregorian calendar. We had the beginning of this, quote unquote beast system in 666 1666 which was the great fire of london that was when they started um on the the straw man idea because people who were fleeing the, the fire in in london many of them escaped down the river and the river thames and never came back and if their property was 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 not damaged in the fire they didn't go back within seven years to claim it it became the property of the, um, the crown. Um, now, if we go forward 350 years from the year 1666, which is really 666, it brings us to 2016. Drop the zero, you got 216, which is the product of six times six times six. And who became president in 2016? To a guy that all the sheep will love. <clears throat> now, the, tea guy, the tea guy. Yeah. Now, if we go, if we add 10 more years to 2026, which is when I think that this cycle will begin again, um, we, we have 360 years since the year 1666 or 666. 360 representing the full circle, right? Well, 2026, drop the zero, and it adds up to 10. 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10. Drop the zero, you've got 1. 1 is beginning, a new beginning. Remove the 1,000 years from 2026, you're in 1026. 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9. End. 1, so 2026 literally marks the beginning and the end since the year um 666 or what we know as 1666 so i see 2025 which many people have been talking about for, for a long time 2025 is being the end of this current cycle that we're in or we've been in since 666 um and 2026 will essentially um begin a new cycle and what what our job is guys what we have to work towards is making sure that the beginning of that new cycle is beneficial for us and not beneficial for the Yehudans. Yeah, because well, we're using a trust system, right, Nige? In a trust system, there's three parties, the uh, the beneficiary, the trustee, and uh, what, what's the other one? Um, the beneficiary, the trustee, and the, oh, the, like the administrator, not administrate it's the wrong word but the um but we have to change and become the beneficiary we're not the the trustee so we have to uh, educate people on knowing that we are not uh, just a uh, a debt instrument that uh, our straw man takes the identity of with all the cap letters in our uh, birth certificate and all the other documents that we uh interact with like our driver's licenses our insurance policies and all those things that those identify our straw man, and eventually we just get caught in this trap of legal fiction. That's anything that's um, in capital letters, and you know it's it's strange that um, here in China and, and other uh, Asian countries, there's no such thing as capital letters in their language. You know, the the the, the, the characters, the characters a character. 
You know, yeah. you, you, you can you that's can write a big character or a small one. It, but you know, you don't have the uppercase and never... lowercase. Yeah, no. that's weird. That that uppercase and lowercase thing is really <clears throat> weird. Yeah. You know Very what's strange. interesting is uh, one of the there was a uh, lady on the on my channel that um, she was breaking all those agreements and everything, and it was it was really interesting because as she was breaking them, I was seeing them in her energy field. The virtuals she was getting, she was exiting out of certain virtuals because I think we they've got us in all these like we talked about the, the copy pasting. It was almost like as she was doing stuff in the, this world, it was happening there. I mean, I think you can do it there, cut your light body out of things, do it the other way too. But uh, I just thought that was interesting how it was all really tied in. Um, this, so there is these, one. These rituals they do here really do uh, have an effect. There is one thing is I want to. What wanted... that is. I mean, it's a, it's a ritual. Go ahead. Sorry. It was something I wanted to talk about, which is um, the idea that we live in a pop up world. So mm. imagine like the concept of a pop up shop. That's everything that exists in each of us as individual consciousness as world. So it, it, our world is only the size of what is perceivable. Okay. Yeah, we, 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 we spoke about that. Harry and I also spoke about that, but I don't think we spoke about it on a podcast. But just to kind of put that in, in what, what you're saying in perspective, Kim, and see if I'm right, um, is... Kim, uh, um, is Anne Marie's car in her garage right now? No, no. But when she goes to the garage, it's there. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of Harry. You, you and I have, have spoken yeah. at length about this. Yes, um, it's, it's like saving space on the hard drive of the computer because, yeah. because it would run out of the ability to actually function if everything was present all the time, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and not and and there's actually a movie out that's called everything everywhere right now really yeah it's actually in the it's in it's in theaters here and it talks about the the multiple uh timelines that can occur based on the the various um uh, uh paths you choose to take whether you decide to make a right turn or a left turn will alter your outcome of what could happen to you. I mean, it, the slightest thing. It kind of connects in a, in, a, in a strange way to the double slit experiment, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, the awareness of you watching the experiment alters the outcome. That, yeah. yeah, that's, exa yeah. that's exactly like, right. Yeah, so, like, so you're sat at home right now. And as you say, the perceived way that we've, taken on the understanding of the material world is that the shop around the corner is always there and it always has yeah. been there and that there are other people in it right now going shopping okay but that shop potentially would only ever be there when we either approached it or talked about it it might be there because we're talking about it right now it's it's kind of like fiat currency because we all believe it's worth something that's why we accept it. Yeah. And if we stop yeah. believing that it was worth anything, I, you would it would cease to exist. But also yeah, in I think, a pop a pop up I world. I think our anything. souls are visualizing it. Yeah. Our souls are like in groups of one mind being told to visualize. Yeah. So that's there. It's just that we we perceive it when we go there. It's a, but it's very, a video game. Very, you know, you make your yeah. choices based on the yeah. video game is yeah what happens. Yeah, yeah. and also that the stage changes like. Uh, if I think about something, a potential that wasn't a potential yesterday, so I don't know, an example might be, it's completely impossible, the idea that I would be, bump into Nigel at the local shops, right? Today, it's impossible, because he's in China, he sat in the chair, he's in China, he says he's in China. But tomorrow, I could have the potential thought of bumping into Nigel in the local shops in Australia. And I could go up to the local shops and he could be there. You, we, we, we have this strange notion that, you know, you're in Australia, I'm in China, Harry and you and Marie uh, are in America. Are we? Are we really? Yeah. We, we don't know where the fuck we are, right? <laughs> you're in America because you've been told you're in America. I'm in China because I've been told I'm in China. Kim's in Australia because she's been told she's in Australia. 
where are no, we? No, I had that thought the other day because I was like, all right, well, if you're on a plane, you don't really, I don't know. I mean, do we know where we're going? Do we, I mean, we don't know anything. <laughs> No, but no. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something. It's disturbing. And, 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 it is. and then many, many, many people might not know this. Um, when I when I was living in Australia, I was doing business in China. I had a um, a, uh, uh, a business in Australia that we used to source products from China, tiles and windows for builders and showers and all this kind of stuff. And I would always fly from Perth to Hong Kong. They had a flight at midnight, right? Um, and the, the sky, Kim will bear me out on this, the sky in Australia is at night is absolutely fantastic. It's as mm -hmm. clear as a bell most mm -hmm. nights. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd be sitting at the airport looking up at all these stars, beautiful mm -hmm. night sky. And as you get on the plane, you go up to cruising altitude, there's nothing. You see the moon, you can see a couple of lights, maybe a couple of the luminaries, but you look up, whereas when you're on the ground, you're looking up at billions and billions of stars. When you go on a plane and you can look out through the window and look up, there's fuck all. Now, mm -hmm. how does that work? You can't work? see the pinholes <laughs> <laughs> when you're on the plane. Yeah. Anybody, anybody watching this, listen to this. Next time you get on a plane at night, have a look at the, the sky before you get on the plane. And then have a look at the sky when you get up to cruising up the tube. We don't know where we are. You know, me, me and a mate of mine had a, had a chat about this the other night. And he was in totally agreement. He's in China as well. And he's, well, supposed to be, you know. But yeah. we, we, don't, we, don't know where, we don't know where we are. And, and, and Kim's notion of the pop-up pop -up world, I mean, it goes back to when we, were, when we were kids and you had those books that you'd open and this little house would kind of pop up, you know. When you yeah, close, yeah. It's gone. Yeah, you know? really um, exciting. Yeah, but it's a very, very deep concept to uh, try and get your head around. Very Don't you wish it was like easy when you move? You could just close the book, take the house with you. Just you don't have to like move boxes and stuff. And no, absolutely. Uh, so, are we going to get into this M word? Or are we going to skip that topic? Well, you've, you've you've mentioned it now, so you know if if we don't, we don't have to. Get, no, we don't have to do complaint. anything. You're going to get complaints. No, them. they're not. Just matter. Because you're going to do yeah. it on you're going to do it on your channel, so they can go watch it there. <clears throat> okay. Well, well, we are. But yeah, let me. I'll, I'll briefly um, mention how it came how it came about. Big shout out to uh, Mike from Sherlock's Apprentice, good mate of mine. Um, a bit like you guys, you know. We've never met, um, but we're soul kind of soul brothers, you know. Anyway, you sent me this. Um, you sent me this. He's a he's a wonderful researcher. He sent me this name, and it, it's Master Ma, M-A-S-T-E-M-A. -E no R, M-A-S-T-E-M-A. -E um, do a search for it, and just click on Wikipedia and see what Wikipedia um, says. This guy is Yahweh's CEO, right? He's, he's the, the chief of the, the fallen that's the one, yeah, Mastamar. Now, if Mastamar had sons, and I don't mean physical sons, I mean like the sons of God and the sons of man, the followers of Mastamar would be Mastamar son or sons. Mastamar sons. Write it down and you'll see exactly where I am coming from. Um, he carries out punishments for God. Um, he's mentioned in the Dead Sea Scrolls, mentioned in the Book of Jubilees, which is not in the uh, in the Bible. He's the father of evil, a flatterer of God, and is said to have become a fallen angel. Um, the personification of him, the word mastama, meaning hatred, hostility, enmity, and persecution. And what the, the story goes that when the um, the the earth was going to be flooded. He um, he asked God to spare one tenth or ten percent of the demons, because if he didn't, then basically he would be out of a job. He'd be he'd be redundant. He'd have nobody to order around and get them to do um, get them to do mischief. 
So this is um, something that we're um, Harry and I are looking into at the moment. Um, and we're going to hopefully put something together and do a um, and do a full presentation on it. But it's very, okay. very interesting. I don't know where Mike, uh, uh, he can't remember. I said, where do you, where, where do you find that name? He said, bro, I can't, I can't remember. I'm like, whoa. Um, I know, I hadn't heard of it. Mm. Well, this says he's the chief of the Nephilim, which, yep. you know what, the giants are supposed to awaken sometime soon during this awakening, the ones that are sleeping. But um, it also says he's a fallen angel and a watcher. I think watcher's something else because I've looked I into do. all this stuff. Yeah, I do. Did, uh, did you ever see that advert um, on the uh, Super Bowl about the giants awakening? Uh -uh. Did you ever see no. that? Oh, there was a, a Super Bowl oh, advert for a car. I think it was Maserati. Wow. Um, Maserati Super Bowl Giants Awakening. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Wow. And give you a link to it. There's, there's, if, 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 you, if you remember the 2012 um, Olympics, which was all about the spam, what's going on now, um, they had a giant. Um, one, just one, really, really, really tall giant in the um, in that ceremony. So again, you know, it's, there's no such thing as. So this is the part. This is the part that freaked me out when you had me pull this up. Was Ma Mastema sends a plague of birds onto the land in the days of Terra, whatever this is. Mm. Anyway. Um, and I've been talking about this, the plague and all the the Egyptian pictures that look like birds and stuff. And, it, and I think they're really bugs. And what I've seen in these old pyramids and stuff are bugs. I think the fallen angels are bugs. They're shape-shifting bugs. And I think that's what the plague is right now. And I'm seeing them on people's backs, sucking the biological out to turn us into a different form of cyborg or yeah. uh something yeah. that they can upload yeah. so uh that's that's just interesting to me that he sends a plague of birds well um, I, um, I i just sent we... you that link in um the chat sorry so, uh, the bugs that you're seeing on people's backs you mean like tattoos of like cicadas and stuff like that no on their light body uh i'm oh. seeing bugs some of them are half something half something else just like they look in the egyptian pictures and um they're laying eggs on them and what i was determining was they were fallen angels and so the wings all the time you know oh, it's an angel with wings they're they're bugs well you know before we started recording, nuts, kim, but they're bugs kim kim you, you you asked me who i thought these um entities are in um in human form and 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 I, I to me it just um, jumps out and smacks me on the nose that they would be the people behind what's been going on for the last last two years, and we we all we all know who who those. Um, what, you referenced the I, nose for some I, reason there, Nige. Sorry, you said you got punched. The punched you in the nose. Are you referencing a certain people? Um, I'm 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 yeah, basically. Uh. Kim, Kim, Kim asked, "Who, who would these master, the, the sons of Mastamar be right now?" I and I um, also asked if they would, if they would potentially reincarnate for each reset. The I don't think people. they can get out. I don't think they can get out. So you think, think they're stuck I, here? Yeah, yeah. I, and, yeah. And and I, I think that's evidenced, Kim, by the uh, the idea that they plan so so many years in advance. You know, I read something the other day that the Rothschilds have been doing what they've been doing for 230 years. Now, why would you plan something if you're going to die at the age of 100 or whatever? I mean, I mean, look, look at these people like Kissinger and I mean, they, 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 Jesus. They, they, all right. What if they're giants? Well, you, you've got you've got the word giant. I mean, people always associate giants with being somebody very big, but you can be a giant in your field of expertise. You know, mm. there are other other ways to use the mm. word giant. Gi giant soul. Yeah, yeah, mm. big heart. You know, someone mm. who has a big heart could be, or, or I don't mean physically big heart, but you know, somebody who's um, very very loving and generous, and and and, and or you you describe him. Oh, he's got a he's got a, a, a a big heart. 
that girl. Okay, and Anne Marie, I just want to ask you, uh, I just sent you a link to that Super Bowl advert. It's, an, it's one minute 30 long. Are we allowed to show it? Are we allowed to play it? I think what is it? Oh, but... um, for educational know. purposes. Let me see if I can let you play it. Can you, do you have a share button? Uh, or I have a share screen, yeah. Okay. Yeah, share it. Share it? We can just, yeah, share it and then like pause, let it play for a couple of seconds and then pause and we'll talk and then play it again or something. Okay. Play it again, Sam. So can you see it now if I go to it? Is it on the no, screen? No, not, not yet. Hit no. share and then, then choose that screen. Uh, hit share. Hit share and then host disabled participant sh screen sharing. Oh. oh, great. Okay, so I'll try to figure that out while we we'll uh, keep on talking here. Okay. I don't. I'm going to go to the settings. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you can. They changed it on um, on this platform. You would, right. have to, you would have to make Kim the host in order for her to share the screen. Well, I'll just say. The same as mine. I'll just send you the link to it in. Um, Oh, just okay. The, the, so I'll go look for that while Harry starts to talk because he's not talking. <laughs> well, well, okay. So uh, in the uh, last, few weeks, I, I've been I've been really just focusing a lot on the um, the importance of of the man versus the human. We've talked about that in our podcast, um, and then we've also been focusing. I've been focusing a lot on just being able to free ourselves from the bondage of this, um, the identity that we don't recognize the duality of. Uh, again, the duality that I'm talking about is the real man or the natural man versus the, um, the straw man. And uh, a lot of people just think that this, those are people who are trying to tap into some secret uh, slush fund and pay off their debts or whatever. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how the, um, the, the Jesuits, you know, back, you know, say, a thousand years ago, decided that they were going to take over uh, the calendar. They were going to take over um, the way we coded ourselves in terms of the birthing process. And everything becomes biology. But in reality, they're taking it on uh, putting us on paper. On paper. And uh, the paper that we're being trapped in is yeah. the the birth certificate that eventually puts us on the market and, uh, and the investment that our governing bodies put in to keep us constantly producing and being the energy that, uh, that they want us to be because they, they suck the energy right out of us. If it's not uh, physical energy, it's the energy that we earn in our monetary system. Absolutely. That's yeah. what I meant earlier as well in relation to what um, Nigel was saying about the workers, like somebody working like what he was talking about before, continuously, yeah. would have the energy completely sucked out of them. Mm -hmm. They would they would be devoid of any joie de vivre at all. There'd be no, like, come on, let's go and do this, or let's get together and do a podcast, because you wouldn't have any of your own thoughts. There wouldn't be anything in your life that was yours. Well, only what they see on TV and yeah. TV, TV here. Oh, by the way, just in case um, somebody asks, or uh, this is for the benefit of those who are curious, what's going on in Shanghai is not exactly. We do know we do know a couple of people in Shanghai that that, that have been in lockdown, um, but all the uh, all the stuff that you're seeing, all these video clips that you're seeing. It's all made for TV, all of it. I just want you to know that, okay? And, and just because we see it on TV, it means it's real. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not. I'm Kim, do you want me? To, does this need sound? Yeah, because they say about the giant. They talk about the giants in it. I think. All right. Here we go. So maybe no, there we, won't be. We, we is can't this the hear. right one? Yeah, but you'll have to share the sound of it. You'll have to do a tweak to share the sound. How do you, how does she um, do that, Nige? 
um, Anne Marie, go to your control, hit more, and and click on share sound. Okay, hang on. The three dots. It says more. Click on that. Drop down to share sound. So you guys aren't hearing it. No. Okay. Thank you. Now we do. So I'm just going to keep talking so that there's no like copyrights. Okay. Wow. So she said our world is full of giants. Wow. They have always been here, lumbering in the schoolyards. Lumbering in okay. the schoolyards. Limping through the alleys. We had to learn how to deal with them. How to overcome them. And this is from 2014. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were small, but fast. Remember? We were like... We were small, but fast. Remember? And they've always been here. This is just odd. Like, she's talking about the history. They're your birds. They're your birds. We knew that being clever was more important than being the biggest kid in the neighborhood. As long as we keep our heads down. So Do we need to keep going? Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm just trying not to get a copy right hard. here. Trust what we feel in our guts, our oh. hearts. We'll just wow. pause it and then we'll just talk about it for a second. So okay. Yeah, yeah I, I've already now. got one one video taken down. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I had no idea. I, I I sent you a message in Telegram and said, "Why on earth did they take it down?" I watched it. I didn't see anything wrong with it. But I don't know. I th well, I, was, I don't want to say the words, but there's a few topics I talked about, and I kind of talked about several things and wasn't being careful. But then we're ready. We wait until they get sleepy. Wait until they get so big they can barely move. Wow. This wait is creepy. Get... Wait till they wait. get sleepy. Wait till they get so big they can barely um, move. The yeah. sleeping giants. Then we walk yeah. out of the shadows. Quietly walk out of the dark. And strike. Wow. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> Isn't it? Wow. A child talking about that it sounds kind of. Hang on, I didn't look at what I. I didn't even really cover this. I was going to talk about it. Sleeping giants, supposedly Anunnaki. I don't know if that part's correct. They will awaken when needed. And uh, and they're trying to turn us into them, like into a soldier race. Yeah. This yep. is this is. So this is from some, I forget where this was from. I was going to read on it, but um, the AI pull them into a fake mind program, take them over to make hybrids in virtual after virtual. virtual. And uh, so these um, Anunnaki, I think, are Pleiadian reptilian hybrids, but um, which is AI, humanoid. Um, well, so the I, great I awakening, I, I, when I, I read on this, so that was, somebody else so when i read on it i got the great awakening is when humanity the humans realize the truth but it's also when the giants awaken that's part of it it's included in that so there's something going on with these supposed sleeping giants that are in caves uh in different well, places that we we talked about this on um, on our channel but i'm going to mention it again for the benefit of your um your listeners we are taught in the West that God is love, right? You see this on billboards outside churches and so on and so forth. God is love. Well, Harry and I did a podcast on the eight um, different meanings in Greek, because the Greek's got eight words for love, um, depending on which kind wow. of love. You know, wow. you, you, you love your parents in a different way to the way you love your kids or your wife or your dog or your best friend. You know, the four of us here right now, you could say, oh, we we love each other. Now, Greek would have a particular kind, a particular word to describe that form of, of love. But the interesting thing is, remember, let's go and confuse their languages. In China, they only have one word for love, and it's I. But it's actually written, if you spell it out using the alphabet, 
it's written as a i i god is love a -I. god is a i a i you can't make this shit up so are they going to do a whole like combined dealio like uh so kim you're talking about the planetary alignment being connected to a solar flare uh yeah. they're going to piggyback on that some and then throw in the giants and throw in all this stuff and do it all at once i, th I, think, the, what? I think that i think that they're announcing in this advert in 2014 that the giants are already she says here. we're we're gonna they're come out of the here. dark and strike. Yeah, they they they've been here for a couple of years and they've been doing their stuff. I, 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 I also think that these these solar flares is just NASA CGI. Uh, I think it's all nonsense, but yeah. Anyway. Well, right, but I mean, is this going to be there? They're going to say, oh, it's a solar flare, a natural solar flare, and they're going to yeah. do something yeah. else like yeah. EMP yeah. or yeah. something. They're yeah. just, just going to turn the switch. They're going to turn everyone to using electricity and then they're going to shut it off. Right. Yeah. Have you seen? Sorry. So... Oh, man. Oh! Look at that. Now we, we have, strike. We have prepared. Now we strike. Okay, that's yeah. not creepy. Yeah. Ghibli. What's what's Ghibli? Probably, probably other oh, Maserati oh, Ghibli. The name of the the name of the car. You'll have to look that up and see what that. I means. know, but what's that um, word? Yeah. And, what's and, that word? Hey, Maserati. Maserati spelled M A S. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the M A S words. It was the M A S. Yeah, I wonder I if that was included on your 66 list. <laughs> um, uh, no, earlier, no. Harry wanted to talk about all the MAST words, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> we're going, <laughs> we're going in the wrong direction here. <laughs> Mastermind. Well, right. well actually, right. actually, when you when you look, I mean, and I, I did mention this, if you look at the, and, and, and read that article fully, um, on the mastema, it talks about women's breasts. Now, if a woman has to have a breast removed, it's called a mastectomy. And if you're, you know, if you're arousing yourself, that word begins with M-A-S-T as well. I'm not going to say it because we really? have ladies present. What's, what's the word? <laughs> you, really, you really don't know? No. I'm just um, playing with you. Right. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> but we we looked up we but my my mate my friend Mike looked up um, online how many words begin with M A S T not just the M A S M A S T um, I'm not sure I'll just find where where well I'm looking um, at this word and I'm looking at mast and I'm thinking of a ship a mast mm, of a ship yeah and I'm looking at yeah. ma so I'm thinking mother ship. Mastema I, is on the mothership. Yeah. What about what about Mother Shipton? <laughs> I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, words that start with yep. this This is for Scrabble. And it's a 66. 66. Masticate. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, think of masticate. I mean, that's and a bull mastiff. You know, what are they famous for? Masticating, slobbering, dribbling. Yeah, on a bull mass on a mastiff dog, you know, and and yeah, we're 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 all on. I mean, what why why are all ships uh, named with a female name? And why are they always called her? Because the ship births and Mama gives birth. It's all connected. Yeah. And of course, all the you know when you were talking about like the birth certificate and all that stuff, all the legal uh nautical terms they use and the um everything is ships but it's ships yeah. alien ships or whatever yeah. you want to call them it's but not it's like all... that's what they're talking about and then the plasma space so it's, it's not uh they, what what they've done is they've twisted everything i mean you know yeah. we we laugh about, um, and we've, we've done this all our, all our lives, or at least up until recently, about this so-called planet called um, 
Uranus or Uranus, your anus. Harry, your native Greek. Can do you want to tell everyone what the uh, what the deception is? Or which, which, which deception are we talking about? Uranus. The Uranus. snake eating this the snake eating the tail or whatever. Well, just no, the word the word Uranos, all it means is the sky. You know, well, if you're gonna have a conversation with someone and someone says, Oh, look up into the sky, you say, Gita to Uranos. You know, you're gonna tell them to look. The Bible uses the word in the English translation, the Bible uses the word heaven. If you go to any biblical, uh, if you go to biblehub.com and just do a search for the word heaven and look it up in Strong's Concordance, it's Uranos. So the sky, the skies, the heavens is Uranos. But, you know, we, we're told that there's this planet called Uranus. And, and, and NASA, re NASA recently said and, that... And didn't um, uh, uh, Uranus what, um, mate with the Gaia god or whatever, the Earth god? So um, yeah. I hate that I know mythology, but because um, I looked up planet and I looked up net. Net means like internet and all that. Net means um, planet. Huh? It also means moon. It means it's like interchangeable with all these things. So I think we're just talking about ships, craters on the moon and ships. I mean. Okay. Can I just say that words. in reference to something that you were saying earlier, there is actually a patent on the sun. Really? There's a patent <laughs> on the sun. <laughs> wow. How oh my is God, that that's so ridiculous. Is, is that patent on the man-made sun? Yeah. All right, right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let me let me let me clear something up here for this man-made sun. Um, yeah, it exists, but it's not floating in the sky. How do you know? For ye for many many years, my dad um, had his uh, had a, a business in in the UK. Material. You want me to make you the host? Are you trying to share no, something? No, don't need to share anything. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It was a, mater a materials testing laboratory, right? My dad owned it and ran it for years and years and years. And what would happen? A car company, for argument's sake, BMW, right? They send yeah. him a dash. They send him a dashboard. This is a dashboard for our, our, our new car. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what's tell me what's going to happen after yeah. twenty after twenty years of sunlight. Yeah. And how my dad did that, I, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. but that was the kind of thing. He the, mm -hmm. he the, um he once impounded a whole fleet of brand new cars at British Leyland because um they sent him a sample of paint, and they were so convinced it was going to be okay they used it on a whole fleet of cars my dad mm -hmm. impounded on because he said that paint's going to fall off within 12 months mm -hmm. that was his job right mm -hmm. don't you think boeing would have a sun simulator when they're making planes don't they want to simulate what would happen to the the wings the welding the paint yeah, after yeah. you know 10 years of, of, of flying in the in the real sun Good That's point. what the sun simulator is for. It's for testing flying. What would happen to flying machines, aeroplanes, helicopters, the whole boot and dice after so many years of flying in there? Okay. Uh, so is there, is there any patents on other planets? I um, don't know, but I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure that all uh, that. That's a question that you'll 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 find the answer to today, Kimmy. <laughs> Okay. You know, you're talking about the, the outer space and, and you know, I, I personally don't believe in that, but uh, the ship is probably on uh, an extraterrestrial uh, region of Earth. Uh, mm -hmm. When we talk extraterrestrial, we mean mm -hmm. extra tierra or extra land uh, mm -hmm. that's beyond our, um, our reach. And I think that these ships are within this realm. They're, they're, uh, they're just outside of where we can actually go to. Yeah, think of the football, the soccer ball. You have the black and the white. Mm -hmm. The white surrounds the black. The white surrounds the black. The white surrounds the black. Is that what they're telling us? We live on one of the black, um, uh, I forget if it's a hexagon or pentagon, but um, one of them's a hexagon, the other one's a pentagon. Um, is, is that what they're telling us? That, mm -hmm. you know, we're surrounded by ice and that there are all these kind of platforms if you like which are uh, other realms 
Well, how we, would we, we know for sure? Exactly. How would we ever know that? We wouldn't know that any more than we would know about traveling beyond the to the moon. We'd never no. know that. We'd have no. to take somebody else's word for it. I'm yeah. trying to well, think of somebody you... just talked about that. They said that they that's not true because they went to Antarctica and they saw it was Brad Olson. He said he went down there and it's not true. But I don't know how how we can verify that because once again, how do we know where we are? But mm. we don't. We um, don't. You so know, Brad don't Olson know. said it wasn't true that there wasn't more land. I'm pretty sure it was Brad Olson said that um, that he went he was in an interview with somebody and I didn't watch the interview I just read what he wrote and he said that he went down he flew down there and he saw and that's not true that there's an ice fall everywhere but who um, knows I don't know how he would have clearance to do that so I, I'm just I think he's a great guy but I'm just saying I don't think any of us really know somebody somebody was on. saying somebody was saying that for fifty thousand dollars you can take a boat trip from new zealand to antarctica but you, you're only going to be allowed to go to wherever they, the wherever yeah, they you don't know what you're go. seeing they'll they'll tell you what they want to tell you and yeah. you don't know what you're seeing yeah you'd have to that's take what, that's what yes. i think that's my own opinion but i i totally agree with you Marie. i totally agree a, with you a gps yeah. with you to see if you really well say where you said they were taking you to doesn't work down yeah, there. Yeah, but then the magnetics are going to be off. They're get, they're going to have it all. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. God. Here's here's something else to consider while we while we're throwing on. Wait, we, we like reach the edge of the ship. What's this metal wall here? <laughs> um, the edge of the virtual ship. Yeah, the Truman Show. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It it said that I, I I haven't had a chance to check this out yet, but it said. There is a very, very large area in the South Pacific, um, which is all, um, it's all no-fly zones and no-sail zones, right? You can't go there. Nobody can go there. Um, and it, it's huge, absolutely huge. Now, could there be another continent or another piece of land, another country? Um, yeah, I, I, I think, why would you have so many no-fly zones and, and, and such a, a large area of the, um, if you pull up a picture of the globe and type in no-fly zones, you'll, 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 you'll see this huge area of where you can't, you can't go. Now, this is a hypothesis, a, a hypothesis. Harry and I talked about this. The one question, when you look at the bar, this this is connected to the copy and paste, right? When you, when you look at the Bible, Genesis 1, uh, 2 says the earth was without form, comma, and void. The word was is a mistranslation. In the original Hebrew, it means became, came for, or came to pass, right? So it was, it was not created without form and void. It became without form and void. And the deception is so, is so um, clever. Yeah. I mean, if I if I came to visit any of you guys for a week, and when I got there, you were perfectly okay, but on the day that I left, you you had the flu, you you were you were ill, and when I get back home, and uh, and my friend says, "Oh, how was your friend? Oh, she was ill. Am I lying? No, but you became ill while mm. I was while I was there, right? You weren't mm. ill when I got there. You were ill when I left. So." It's a very, very clever deception. Now, the only other place in the Bible that you will find um, uh, the earth was without form and void is in Jeremiah 4, verse 23. He says, I beheld the earth. It was without form and void. There was no man. The birds of the heavens had fled. The cities trembled um, uh, in, the, in the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. Right, so that he's actually telling you that the, the, the biblical God Yahweh destroyed part of the um, the, the earth because he said, I, "I will not turn back from it, I, but I will not make a full end." So we know that man was first created in Genesis one twenty seven. Again, in Genesis two seven, well, Jeremiah's way down the list. So if man hadn't been created yet, who was Jeremiah, and who were the men that he spoke about? Our hypothesis is that when the copy took place, 
which which we reckon was around in the 15th century. These guys, the Jeremiah's, came over with part of the copy. Man was then created again, Genesis 127, Genesis 27. And the Jeremiah's, we don't want anything to do with you. We don't want anything to do with either of those creations. We're off. This is all talked about in the, in the story of Exodus. So what if the original people, the Jeremiah's, are living, congregated on that, um, that piece of land where you can't fly and you can't go by boat or ship, uh, by boat or plane. Now, in the book of Jubilees, I think it's chapter 10, um, when the Mastamar guy is, uh, is talked about. But further on, I think it's um, either chapter 18 or chapter 30. I can't remember. But it actually says you are going to a land that was not given to us by lot but it's it's not the biblical lot with a capital it's by lot as in a um, an auction mm -hmm. right you're going to a land that was not given to us by lot you go there you will be killed you or any of your descendants go there you will not come back you will be killed again it's hypothesis I'm just, out. Um, what does that mean I, well, I don't know. Somebody's in, is some other king that runs that. I kind of feel like maybe some other kind of faction yeah. runs that, and they own they own us over here, and then these people are owned. Because I feel like that's land. I was looking like, is it a portal there, or is it where the? But it feels like you're saying land that uh, mm. in that no fly area. Yeah, and and, and as, as I say, it was the Book of Jubilees that made the connection to me when it basically said, "Look, well, you can't go there. If you go there, you're going to get killed." Well, why would they why would they do that? Why would they say that? Unless it is the the Jeremiah's um, who are basically saying, look, okay, you, you do what you want. We're we're off. But don't you fucking dare come over here, because if you do, we're going to kill you. We don't want anything to do with you. So, so is that similar people... to the North Pole where where bird flu and what was that his name? <laughs> bird flu. Bird flu. <laughs> you mean <laughs> Ad Admiral Bird. bird. Admiral Bird. Admiral, Admiral Bird. Bird. Yeah. Isn't that an interesting name? But isn't that where mm. he flew? Like, did he fly something similar, like a no man's land? Because he saw all yeah. these. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. But that well, was so taken in the North Pole. He was in the North. So maybe there's, yeah. there's, yeah, there's a bunch of areas like this where they're Didn't all he? like North Didn't Pole he? down there where you're talking about, like all these no man's lands that are different. I don't know. Again, people, look, it's different just controllers. It's, Admiral Bird went to both. He went to both north yeah. and south. Yeah, but you know he was a 33 degree yeah. blah, right. you know. Um, but you're talking about down by South America, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I'm south just wondering Pacific. if there's more than one, you know, one, more than one place where some land is that... There, there just seems to be this huge, huge area that you, you can't fly to or you can't fly over. Uh, no, no flying and no, no sailing. Um, in in a, a very very what appears to be a very very large area of the of the South Pacific. Now again, look, I'm only hypothesizing, but what I'm doing, I'm looking at the text and what 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 the Bible talks about, and what the Book of Jubilees talks about. And the Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible for for obvious reasons. If you if if you read it, um, and that's when it first talks about this Mastama entity. And, and who he is, and talks about land, and you, you, you know, land that you can't go to. You're not allowed, if you go there, you will be killed. End of story. Don't go there. Are you stupid? Well, um, do you, do you want to explain, Nigel, what a jubilee is? Um. Well, jubilee's got more than one meaning. Do you want to explain what a jubilee is? Well, a jubilee is the ending of the forty-nine or the seven sevens which ends up being 49 years at the end of 49 years if you own have debt on the year of jubilee which is the 50th year you are free of that debt and that year just happens to be 2022 it's a shemitah year a shemitah yeah a shemitah yeah and it it comes to an end in september or yeah september this year is the at the end of the 50 year cycle you, you, you're 49 then you have the shemitah then it starts again so what the end of debt in September this year, is that what you're saying? Well, that's that's what Jubilees actually 
actually means, what it refers to. So is that the uh, financial reset then? Yeah. Well, that's what, we, that's what we get the word jubilation. You know, you're free of debt, so you jump for joy because you, you're jubilant. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's, Kim, you um, need to be reading on this stuff. Is that what's going to happen in September? They're going to try to do their reset? Well, every single financial reset that's ever occurred or, or dive or whatever you want to call it, apparently it's happened in labor. It always happens in labor. Yeah, well, I've heard that. Be, that would mm. be September, end of September, mm. beginning of October. Yeah. Is that oh. labor, the astrological <laughs> sign? Yeah. And that's what uh, a pound is a labor, right? A pound. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that where all our, all our uh, money goes to, the mm -hmm. ground? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you 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 ask, is that is is that going to be the financial reset? Well, what what we're kind of saying is that it's certainly everything seems to point to. I think uh, they're planning it. At that. least what I've seen in the cards, they're planning it. But I I just think it's going to get stopped. It feels like it's even though it's the plan. But then when <coughs> I look at, it, is it going to happen? Nah. So I don't think they're having they're going to well, have the too only, much luck. The only Maybe. way that we. The only way we can it can be stopped is if, if people like us, we and, and 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 other people that are quote unquote waking up. I hate to use that that term, um, but people seem to know what it means. It's only us that can stop it. You know, if if well, if, they took they took awakening and, and use woke to yeah. mean this whole other thing, and it's like that. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Well, that again, that's that's been done deliberately to. Um, distract and deceive and, 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 and make people think yeah. that they're stupid. So yeah. if, if each of us were in a, an individual pop-up world, it would depend on whether our pop-up world was, if that was within our perception. So it mm. could happen to you and not happen to me, but I could be living in the same world as you. Yeah. So I could, I could be living in a completely different dimensional yeah. space. So it's well, just a different experience. Um, Logan from Decoder Reality um channel he's away he's, he's in america at the minute i think he's due back on the 8th of may um and he'll do a call in and i'm gonna ask him um in fact we'll, we'll, pro we'll probably try and arrange a podcast with him harry and we'll um we'll talk about the shemitah he knows all about the shemitah what it what it means which how it connects with what you said about it being a you know connected to the jubilee um the book of jubilees i mean why would it be called that you know um, and what we what we're finding out about this new character who's been hidden is Master Ma, dude. Um, so if Master so, Ma is connected to the Jubilees, and Master Ma may possibly be Mother Ship, is this also going to be when they do their invasion or their uh, landing, even though they're already here? Kind of thing. Even though we're on their ship already, but they're going to tell us, "Oh, we've got ships landing." I mean, is that going to be at the same time? I I got a um oh shit I can't play it um I have like yeah I've got it. Do you want to make me the host for a minute, Anne Marie? Yep. And I'll share the screen. This will be covering some interesting stuff, aren't we? This is well the, if if I can get this to play, okay. there, this will absolutely this will blow your mind. Uh, oh, hang on, I've got a. No, shit, All right, sorry. just do I've pauses to, for okay. copyright stuff. I don't think this will be a. I don't think there'll be a copyright on this because it's not a. Um, it's not, not YouTube. A, or uh, no. Right. Okay. Let me. Okay. Well, talking about the resets and then the jubilee and, and forgiveness of debt. You know, we are, are promised that we have unalienable rights. So if we look at the word alien is a lean so right, you, if you're putting a lean on oh, right <laughs> oh yeah that thing it's amazing watch this it's only 28 seconds uh, this is because somebody getting a wreck if people don't think that they could pull off the proverbial blue beam, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. That's mm -hmm. that's they actually call it 8D. Mm -hmm. Eight. They've also got technology to, to make you think you're feeling something. 
even though there's nothing there like so they can put you but that's just what we've been talking about copy paste that's the next virtual they want to shove you in and yes, then they've so, got yeah. then they've got the technology that can make you think something as you walk down the street. They can project. We're in one now, you know. I think I feel a pen. Head. Am I holding right. a pen? Yeah. Mm. I mean, we're yeah. we're in one right now. So. Um, the the other thing that um that people are not um a lot of people are not aware of is the 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 the, the depth of the mockery. I mean, if we were all different cultures living on different continents um like you know in i forget who it was um oh it was um, allegedly dave did an awesome presentation on um why people in the west have blonde hair blue eyes ginger hair my dad's got ginger hair my daughter's got ginger hair you and both you and kim have got blonde hair um and yet everywhere in asia everybody's born with black hair right there are no different colored of, of hair in 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 asia and um he was kind of talking about um about this and I, I forgot where i was i forgot where i was going um with oh yeah and, and he was saying at one time it, it, in one country it was illegal to have blue eyes right i mean how does that work but one thing that is is apparent it doesn't matter which country you go to a businessman will look the same they always wear the suit, the shirt, and the tie. Now, Harry, you remember that podcast we did called Six in the Sit Eye? Yeah. Where we were showing how sex is um, subliminal in just about everything, right? Mm -hmm. From candy to, to, to movies to, 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 you know, just about everything. And, and, and how, like, if you turn the word, if you, if you get a bottle of Pepsi and turn it upside down, it says, is dead. Pepsi upside mm -hmm. down is Pepsi dead, is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you know when you when you wear a tie, the tie finishes with a, a V, right? You know but how it comes down to a point. What's he pointing he, at? What's he pointing at? But well, even the, yeah, yeah. But he, but even the idea of wearing a tie around your neck. I mean, yeah. What? Is that about why are you or old oh, chains? A lot of women wear gold yeah. chains around the neck. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, the it's cuff and collar. Symbolic, it's, you know. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's the cuff and collar, the yeah. slavery. Yeah, it's shackles. Right? And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah, and then your tie around your neck is yeah. Point, finishes in a V, finishes in a point. All of them do. Mm. And they're mm. pointing I right. I see the shackles your... a lot around the neck, yeah. wrists, knees, mm. ankles on people. Sometimes mm. the waist, like they're they're mm. light body. I see that a lot mm. if they if they own yep. you. But um, and, and that's so where if we you're the... if you're a business person and you're you're owned by the god of money, I guess I I don't know. Mm. I had a, well, I had a, had a dream one night about commerce. really intense lightning, and it was striking me, and it was striking me where I, where I was wearing gold. So it was striking me on the rings burning my fingers off, striking me around my neck, hurting all my neck. Uh, it was conducting. the, uh, And from that moment on, I never wore another ring. When no. I woke up, I went, ooh, I'm not going to wear a ring anymore. No, I don't wear I don't wear rings. I don't wear chains. I don't even no. wear a watch. No. Um, but the whole, um, the whole idea that this whole realm was created um, in order to promote, I mean, what, what are the two things that are promoted? right? Sex and money, right? That's really, you know, in everybody's everyday life, wherever you look. Now, some people are, um, are Mandela affected. And, and one of the Mandela effects is sex in the city changing to sex and the city. Well, what's um, the head of finance in, in the world's head of finance is the city of London. And it's just known as the city. So Mandela effect, in my opinion, was a wake up call for a lot of people sex and the city are telling you that's what rules your life that's what rules everybody's life is sex and the city i.e money yeah well city is also a, it points towards a citizen okay and a citizen is the person that lives in the city but it, it's really the focus is the person yeah. and uh, yeah. when we talk about the shackles you know the the chains and the and the uh, oh look, bro, we could that's, do that. That's uh, where we get that's where we get the word religion, right? Mm -hmm. To reshackle yeah. yourself is to religia. 
which are the which which are the ligaments that bind you. So that's and here's what um, here's, here's uh, another important thing that somebody brought up the other day, which I thought was quite interesting. Even though when um, Prince Philip uh, uh, died, he was also known as the Duke of Edinburgh, right? And the Queen has got this residence in Scotland called Balmoral. So these dudes never go on holiday. Whenever they go, they, they, they go to Scotland. They spend more time in Scotland um, than, than any, anywhere else. And I didn't realise until the other day that the original name of Edinburgh, which is not even the, is it the capital or is that Glasgow? I forget. Uh, was Eden, Eden. Edinburgh is the cap Edinburgh is Eden. capital. Edinburgh. Eden, as in the Garden of Eden. Edinburgh. Yeah, that's where that's so. where that's where that name comes from. So is that why he was the Duke of Edinburgh and why they spend so much time or used to spend so much time? I mean, I, I'm pretty I'm, I'm you know, if Scotland's I betting, the origin. Scotland's yeah. the origin, but I, I can't talk about yeah. I, that's probably something we shouldn't talk about. OK, um, yeah. the I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that she's she's already dead. And that her death will be announced either on May the second or May the twentieth. Probably May the twentieth. Uh, um, my birth, my birthday. Your birthday. Did, yeah. Did, and, and did, guess what? When's your birthday? My, <laughs> May twentieth. May twenty. Yeah. yeah. And know. my um. And that's my. That's the day the eclipse is done. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's why my my boss's son is getting married on um May the twentieth for that exact reason. And Marie. Can I? Can I ask you, did you see the two white horses and the queen for the queen's birthday? Yeah, that was, she was photoshopped into that, into that picture. And That's that was weird. Um, I didn't see it. It was, oh. um, you know, the, um, the, the, the master ma, the sons of the master ma that we were talking about, you know, that, you know how they love their black and white, don't they? They're white, black, white. Check, the checkerboard, man. Can you show the, can you show the picture? Nigel, no. I don't, I don't, I don't have the picture, mm. but um, most most people will be aware of uh, of, of of what it's. Um, uh, I think yeah. the most important question here is whether Harry is a Taurus or a Gemini. That's what the most important question is. Tor Taurus. You sure? Oh, you're you're, you're well, cussing me. What I, I, according to what we'll they told me, all my fifty three. We'll have years. to look you up. What's your date? What date? What date is he? May 20th, 20th, May 20th. May 20th. I'm right on the cusp of changing to a Gemini on the 21st, I think. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, you to, um, do you know your birth time? We can look it up. All right, moving on. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, 201 in the afternoon. Oh, there's you that, do know. There's that Jesuit number. <laughs> what well, don't yeah. tell me the year. Tell me the year later. Don't <laughs> everybody's got your birth info. Um, 520. I'm gonna find this out by God. <laughs> Good. Um, so what else so, yeah. do we want to talk about, or do we want to wrap up? Because we're like an hour and a half already. Oh, we can Time go a bit flies. longer if you want. We can go a bit longer if you want. Well, again, I, just wanted, I wanted to I wanted to state one thing, just because we're talking about the the, um, the jubilee and, and the shackles. You know, the modern day version of being a prisoner is being in debt. Okay. Yep. And uh, and we in this country have, have been given these unalienable <laughs> rights. But that's where we get the word alien. Alien doesn't mean someone from another planet. It means someone who has a lien on them. Hmm. And, and if you, we if you, are. If you, oh, read, if you read alien backwards, it's Neil A. Who was Neil A? Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. <laughs> oh. You got so, New World Order, NWO, which rearranged his own. Oh. Aliens, the aliens that own us. <coughs> we're all owned by alien factions. We're yeah. we're a soul market. Yeah, but alien, alien. Not, not from another planet, an alien oh. from another right. part. Yes, alien, yeah. alien, alien owner. They own us. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. And the clues so in they, the reverse. Or so they think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. think. Yes. They think, and and sadly, they do. They own most. I mean, how many people do you think are really awake? Again, I hate using that word. What sort of percentage do you think are awake? Well, we got four of us here. I, I don't know. I think the souls <laughs> are waking up, but uh, 
I don't think it's very many. I don't think we need a huge percentage. I don't think we need that huge percentage because there's so many fake people, so many soulless people anyway. How many what's the percentage count, of so it's like how, what's the percentage of NPCs that live here? Is it 65% or more? I haven't checked in a while. Um because I, I, I think they've I, been taking out some souls. I think it's up in the sixties or seventy percentile. I think it's got to be the NPCs same percentage as water on the earth. Oh, so it was uh, uh, 70, much water 30, I think. However I think it was 70, 30, but I don't know what it is now. I think anybody that's taken the... The uh, arm juice? The arm juice would be an NPC, yeah. Can I, can I ask a question? No. How many... All right. <laughs> Carry on then. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> no, I'm now. I'm not Go doing Go ahead, that. Kim. Go ahead. Go, ahead. <laughs> Go Kim. All right. Um, can't remember what it was. Okay. So I've been lately, I've met a few people like last week. I met a few people I've never met before. And I was finding it increasingly difficult to talk to them, even if they are of the same mindset. Because yeah, he told me. Because mm. the um because the foundation's not there to have the conversation. Mm. So yeah. there's nowhere to like segue into a conversation. Whereas I can talk to you guys because I can talk about like something like the Maserati commercial and you get it. Oh you know? man. You know why? Can you imagine trying gonna... to give the foundation. I'd be like, where do we start? Okay, we're on yeah. a crater. Yeah. Or, yeah. We could be on a crater, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> like that. I don't even know how you'd start. We're in a different, different realm. We're in a different have ascension you, than them. You can't. Have you, have you Mythology that, is true. Um, have you seen that vibes of cosmos stuff <clears throat> with the um the moon being a mirror? Of, um, of the earth. Have you seen that, Amory? Um, that's what I got a long time ago. That the 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 moon that we see in the sky was a mirror, and the sky around it was a green screen. And then, um, like a year later, somebody started showing glitches in the sky and stuff. And I was like, and then and then I got shown Crater Guy. I I don't know who referred me to Crater Guy, and I was like, oh man, was it man. you that referred me to him? Most yeah. likely, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, there'd be but, a lot of foundation yeah. to play. <laughs> um, the, the, the Vibes of Cosmos uh, YouTube channel uh, has done, uh, his work is, oh, I think it's a her actually, is absolutely in incredible. Um, literally mapped the moon with all the known continents on earth even the rivers and the seas and it's absolutely oh yeah mind -blowing. I, I think i've seen that stuff yeah mind-blowing but it also shows extra extra land yeah that our sun we we we, we, we just this realm is uh, you, you you have to watch it but this this realm is just a small part isn't that the, right. that remaining the, the remaining part isn't that frozen over night well yeah, he showed the we, land we on the know. moon, uh, the reflection of the moon, right. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were talking um, about the moon being a mirror, sorry. Well, yeah, essentially, yeah. It, it, it is, it, it, essentially. We're but, the mirror. Yeah. But we, we, we're right. the mirror. This is why right. in this realm, everything's inverted. Reversed right? and backwards, yeah, upside down. Yeah, reversed and backwards, because we are in the mirror. This is the this is the copy. Well, this is the paste, the copy. I forgot that channel. So vibes of cosmos. Anybody listening? Yeah. Vibes of cosmos. That that yeah. was uh, one of the people, and then the other one is the um, the crazy name God Godzilla Mast. Uh, that, uh, oh, that's the crater. That's the crater Earth. God God get That's the crater guy, and yeah. then vibes that's of the cosmos was the other one, and I was like. When I found them, because I felt like I was going off the deep end with what I was uncovering, and then and then they show it so nicely, and then you're like, oh, okay, it could be well, maybe this isn't so crazy. Yeah. The, the amount the amount of work that Sturgios has done in that uh, Vibes of Cosmos is just you got it. Oh, it's you, incredible. You give credit where it's due. Yeah, absolutely um, amazing. Um, Can you imagine the hours? Again, when, you, oh. when you when you when you tie his um, when you tie what he presents or she presents into what Harry and I were presenting in our copy and paste video that we you know we 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 put that video out three months before Free Guy came out the movie Free Guy mm. right um, we 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 didn't have a clue when we when we did the podcast but when we when we watched the movie we're like 
Wow. Yeah. It was all, yeah. it was almost like, I know this sounds crazy, but it was almost like the, 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 the guy that wrote free guy had kind of watched our podcast and gone, yeah, I'm going to make a movie about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it there were that many connections, right? What we, what we talked about back in, um, well, the, the free guy came out in August last year. So three months earlier than that would have been May. Um, when Harry and I did that and um, did the first copy and paste um, podcast. And then um, the we'll have to watch free that free guy. If you Isn't it interesting how you wake up to certain things and then and then you start to see him right after that? It's like, you can't, yeah, you oh. can't not see them. They, I'm, I'm, I'm it's not like gonna... weird timing with stuff because you, you get something and then somebody says it and then you're like, oh. I'll tell you one oh, of those uh, for me. One of those for me was, was Skull and Bones and the Pirates. Look, oh, wherever okay. they depict the pirate map, I always see that now as Skull and Bones, like okay. the pirate mm. flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Skull and Bones. The 322. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Yeah, the 322, yeah. the flag. Yeah. Yeah. I always see it. I always see pirates well, now as depicted. Well, as we're, while, we're on the, while we're on the topic of movies, I'm not going to give you a spoiler alert, but there's a point in the movie, watch out for it, in, in the movie Free Guy, where the, the owner, quote unquote, the god, mm. right? Um, he's in his workshop where everybody's, you know, playing with their computers and keeping the whole game going. And he sits down on the floor, right, while he's talking to, to someone. And I don't know what it's called, but you know when you, you, you're sitting on the floor, you kind of, you, you, you lay back and you, you, you try and just use your feet to, 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 to bounce back up onto your feet, right? You don't, you don't kind of. I don't know what it's called, but you know, you know, like, what I'm a, talking like about. a gymnastic move where you're yeah. laying down yeah. and then you flip your yeah. whole body and stand up. Yeah. Uh, he, he tries to do that and he can't, he can't do it. Right now in, in our opinion, because I know Harry shares this opinion because we spoke about it. That is them showing us that the God of this world is not omnipotent. He's not who people think because he can't, he can't, he can't do it. He can't. He, he tries three or four he's, times. And he's the a wizard, he's a wizard of Oz, and he's been exposed. Yeah. yeah, 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 pretty much. And another series that I've just finished watching, which is mind blowing, um, is 2022. It's called Loki. Now everybody will be familiar with Loki from the um, the Marvel, um, but there's a six part series called just called Loki. Watch it. In okay. I think it's in the third. Um, third part, I'm not going to give you a, uh, a spoiler alert. Well, a little one. In the third part, he meets um, his higher self. He meets a female Loki, right? They're the same person. Um, and she is much, much more powerful. Than she's a lot male. smarter than him, too. Oh, she's a lot <laughs> smarter as well. Yeah. Again, that's reality, yeah. <laughs> another, another truth drop. Now, Here's one. This this is one that blew, absolutely blew me away. Um, it's on YouTube. It's called The Ballerina, a short horror movie. It's seven minutes long, right? And what they're doing, they're showing you that your higher self is more powerful than you are, right? Now, in The Ballerina... Um, the higher self is portrayed as female. Um, in Loki, um, the higher self is portrayed as female, but he's male. And this all ties into um, the yin yang, um, the fact that, uh, or the, the, the notion that when we incarnate in this realm, like Harry and I would be 40% male energy, 10% female. Uh, you girls would be 40% female energy, 10% male energy, and your higher self is the reverse of that. So uh, mine and Harry's higher self will be 40% female energy, 10% male. Your higher self would be 40% male energy, 10% female, right? Which, is, which gives you the, 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 the yin, yin yang. And this, this is shown in, certainly in that ballerina movie and, and in Loki. Now, when you think of someone being more powerful men are more powerful than women in the physical sense but women are way more powerful than men in any other any other area any other sense that you want to you, you, that's a blanket statement yeah 
<laughs> yeah, it is a blanket statement, but 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 again, it has to be a blanket statement because it, it, it encompasses so much. We could do a whole podcast just on male and female energy and and and, and what it actually what it actually is, what it actually means. We could tie in the Baphomet to the female uh, reproductive system, which if you look at them side by side are virtually identical. Um, we could take it one step further when you talk about the beast. Now we're all we're all grown up. We're all grown up here. Let me ask. No, I'm not going to ask you a question. I'm not going to to put you on the spot. But you all know that what I'm about to say is true. When a guy and a girl, boy, man, woman, whatever, meet for the first time, and they have that love that is called eros in Greek, which we get the word erotic, and you go back to his place or her place and you rip each other's clothes off right why does that never happen again you know you could you could that could happen in, in you know the, the, when you first meet and you could have a lifelong relationship but that would never happen again ever why well think of the beast the female re I'm, I'm not being disrespectful by, by any stretch of the imagination i'm trying to be practical um the beast system, the reproductive system. What do you right? mean by that would never happen again? What you, which bit do you mean? With, with the same person. Why? Ripping each other's but, clothes off. Yeah. Ripping each, yeah. You only no. ever have that once. It's that, it's that, <laughs> uh, that first impression. Yeah. That yeah. First impression. yeah. But you, well, you, you never Don't did worry. that again. Not with the same person, no. Really? No. It's because no. men like to roam. They're done. They, they conquered. <laughs> Um, Maybe. Yeah, they conquered. They went there and did it. Yeah, but did the man conquer the woman or did the woman conquer the man? Um, that's, you know, we, we, mean, we this, can talk, they we can talk about that for, for ages. They but. certainly depict it case, in like, movies. Man, like, but that's okay. Like, they depicted in a movie like where a, maybe a man and a woman are doing a, like, um, uh, I don't know, court scene together or something and they get back to, to the house and they rip each other's clothes off. But they might have already been having a relationship, like you see it in movies. Mm, yeah, possibly. When possibly. the woman's in menopause and she's not interested in sex anymore, then what happens? Oh, in Nigel's book, then she's put on the shelf she's and she's throwing stupid to... stuff in. Mm. Mm. Nigel's book, what? No. <laughs> no, she's not put on the shelf. No. no. Oh. Um, <laughs> But again, you know, that's another that's another misnomer um, that, that we've been beginning to find out that um, menopause is avoidable, basically. Um, men, oh, pause. They take a pause for men. So yeah. what, what did you tell us why it only happens once? Um, I think as a mystery. The the mystery. I, the mystery. I think, yeah, I, I, I think it's oh. no. What I was, what I was, what I was alluding to, Anne Marie, <laughs> is if okay. you look, if you look at the Baphomet and the female reproductive system side by side, right? They're the same. They, they, they look um, the same. And the Baphomet is called the Beast. So what I was kind of alluding to is when you are in that rip, you're ripping each other's clothes off situation. Um, it's it, it, that the female is being controlled by her uh, physical beast. emotion, by the beast. It's like you know, can't wait to do the do the necessary, do the obvious. Um, that's kind of what I was um, what I was alluding to. Gross. I just okay. I just be really yeah. interested to know if, if other people think that that only happens once because that's mm. not my experience. <laughs> Are you ripping okay. somebody's clothes off every single time? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Let's let's just say it's a generalization. You know, okay. Well, in, 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 maybe you know. No, I'm but I see it. what you're talking about. It's the intensity's like, and then once they do it, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. That that intensity it, it continues on a decline. To come back. Right. Yeah. Could that could yeah. that be magnetic? Yeah. Because if you, if you put two forces together like magnets, right, and then it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds and, it builds and it finally you rip each other's clothes off. And in doing that and doing that penetration thing, you've actually diffused that magnetic energy. You've actually yeah, you've possibly, actually gone yeah. there and, and done it. It could be magnetic. Yeah. 
Yeah. To the, the mass the words, M A S T words. I mean, let's just let's just bring it all out here. Mm. We're, <laughs> I'm just making stupid yeah. jokes because I'm getting tired. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's, um, well, what, does anybody what, else not... think that feel like Kim's voice is so relaxing that you just instantly go into a state of meditation when she talks? Very yeah. relaxing. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. You listen to her, her, her videos. Some of her videos, you could quite easily fall asleep. I can't find her channel. I, it, all I knew was Kim the Bard, and nothing comes up. Oh. No, she, you shadow banned Kim. I, I tried to find you the other day to link uh, to link your channel, and I typed change. in the Bard. You'll have to change your name, girl. You, you, you change the name. You um, change the name. Ban. We are yeah. as well. You, you've got to type in the Devil's Playground, and you've got to you've got to go as far Good as typing time. in the number two before. Yeah. It, it, it pops up in the right. in the drop down. So, Kim, yeah. what is your what is your t channel? All right, I'll it bring might... it up and I'll I'll read it out because it's like a particular spelled a particular way. Okay, so, that's probably um, why I can't find it. So it's T H E with a capital T, no space, small b a r d, the bard. Mm. Oh. Okay. No space. Let's see, if Let's see if it'll come up for me right now. Because I've looked for it for a few times and uh, it, nothing. No, it, it won't come up. No, apparently I've got to change. There we go. Is it come there up? There we go. Okay, I just subscribed. I found okay. you. Cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Yay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Maybe you can maybe you can put the the links in the show notes, um, Amory, to Kim's channel. And yeah, I wanted to be able to link all of you, and I was like, or put a picture, and I was like, oh, I can't find her channel again. So well, well, what, we better let Anne Marie get to bed because it's yeah. late for her. Well, look, what, I'm, a, um, old, I'm and old Harry, grandma. And Harry, and Harry. grandma's got to get to bed. Um, what I will do, uh, Amory, once you've uploaded this. Uh, onto your channel i'll um i'll just do a bumper and put it up on our channel with the link and i'll do the same thing over to you yeah. okay i'll, I'll thing. send you um yeah. i'll send you through we transfer i'll send you the uh um, well i i i i video. won't need to I, I don't need to upload it onto our channel uh what i'll do i'll do a bumper um and show the four of us in fact I'll print screen oh okay um um because i mean I'll i can use... send you the whole video kim do you want the video just to upload yeah i'll have the video please okay so just send me your email through um uh telegram or something and i'll okay and then i'll just i'll send it through we transfer to you okay all right so any Are closing sending, thoughts if you're gonna send it to kim send it to, to to you know send it to both of us send it send it to me and kim if you're gonna okay. if you're gonna if you're gonna put it into we transfer then just send it to both of us um, okay. But as I say, I'll, I'll do a bumper and, and I'll send uh, our guys over to you uh, to watch it over there. Um, any closing thoughts? Oh, God, my closing thoughts take an so. hour. My closing thoughts take an hour. Yeah. What about you, Harry? I right. know we can save it for a part two. There, there's yeah. there's a lot of good, a lot of good synchronicity happening in uh, all of our minds that we we can all understand what we're all talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. Actually, but, uh, that's no. pretty incredible. Yeah, that we that yeah. we're coming from the same side way. We're coming from the same space. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's and, and, that's again, you know, really, I'm sure on your channel, but there's a lot of really cool people on my channel too. Listeners that would be right where we're at. So yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead. We get a lot Nigel. of um, we get a lot of feedback. We get a lot of um, ideas from our uh, subscribers yeah. when they yeah we all do the, the yeah we all comments. do. Um, and that, oh, that's a good idea. I'll go and look at that, or I'll go and look at that. Yeah. Um, and that leads us to other things. Like I say, I'd never heard of Mastermar until Mike um, sent me a, uh, a message the other day. I'd never heard of it. Either. Um, no, no. And I never heard of it until two minutes before we started recording, and I wrote it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, people, Interesting. You know, as I say, we're gonna. We're, I'm gonna try and put together a podcast uh, or a, a presentation. Uh, on on Mastermar, but if you, as I say, if you if you you can find the Book of Jubilees, um, start at chapter ten. Um, you find that online, and if you just type in Mastermar, you will see um, the, the 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 Wikipedia, what it's all about. But the interesting connection would be the sons of Mastermar. 
and there you have it. Insane. All righty. Mm. Well, let's say goodbye to okay. everybody listening. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Thanks that was for awesome. inviting me. Okay. Thanks, Henry, for having us all uh, get together today. Yep. Yeah, this is great. So we'll have to do it again. And um, I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to click us off here. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. I was telling me to leave because you're the host. So I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.